guys. This is what I look like when I get up. Yeah! Anyways, it's Tuesday. I'm gonna continue this video in the hot tub. All right, so this week's theme is five things that you don't, or that most people don't know about me. Hi. I'm gonna keep making my video. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of things that people don't know about me. Uh, okay, um, let's think about this, shall we? Yeah, let's think about it. This is Austin, by the way, guys. Five things. Five whole things. And it sucks for me because you know me. I mean, like, nothing that I... Do I really? <laughs> yeah. Nothing that I would be able to say on the internet. People don't know about me. Hi, Dad. Here's something most people don't know about me. Why I tell everyone everything. Uh -huh. Because I think that if you know everything about me, there's nothing you can hold against me. Because Which everybody be? knows, so it's not a secret. Yeah. I know something that people don't know about me. I used to want to be a falconer when I was a kid. Uh, okay, so there's two things that very few people know about me. Two down, three to go. I've been swimming since I was four years old? Uh, no. Let's see. When did I injure my leg? I injured my leg in 1992. You were two years old. So I started swimming when I was two years old. Getting too hot in here. I'm going to sit by the hot tub instead of in the hot tub. Um, okay, so two more things that people don't know about me necessarily. Hmm. Um, this is sort of a cop out because, like, most of my friends know this, but I'm going to be a theater major, and so that's why I have all sorts of theater classes right now. And then, fifth thing that most people don't know about me. What about your support group thing? Oh, right, right, good idea. Um, I'm part of this thing called the SELP, which is the Self Expression and Leadership Program, and um, in the Self Expression and Leadership Program, we uh, we come up with a project that we want to do where basically instead of looking at what's wrong in the world, we look at what's missing. And so um, I've created this cool project um, for teens with cancer and um, I want to make a um, an atmosphere of uh, community compassion and trust because I think that it's an area where there's not a lot of attention because people hear a lot about Sorry, the wind is blowing my camera. Um, people hear a lot about um, old people with cancer and young and like children with cancer, but it's not often talked about with like young people and teenagers with cancer. And so it's important to me to get a group together that kids can um, feel like they have a community of people who understand what's going on with them. So that's what I'm starting. I'm having trouble. <laughs> Who was your motivation for this group? <laughs> <laughs> you were my motivation for this group, Mr. Austin. This is uh, why, 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 why me? My dear friend Austin, who you can hear the voice of, was recently diagnosed with cancer, and he's 18 years old, aren't you, Austin? And I just think no, that 30. he's 30. He's just lying to me. Um, I think that it's really unfair that someone his age should have to go through something like that. Hi, um, sorry, my camera pooped out on the last video, and so I'm just gonna add a little extra something. Um, if you want to hear more about um, the project with the kids with cancer, check the link in the sidebar and go to my personal channel. So that's all the time we have for this week, kids. And, um, enjoy the rest of the week with Five Girls, One Quinn. And speaking of Quinn, he's going to be posting a video on Friday because he's having tef technical difficulties still. And he can't, he couldn't post on Sunday or on Monday. So he's going to be posting on Friday. Peace.